What is this and why am I looking at it? Again, th th it, it truly is. Again, th this, this sort of stuff is for stupid people. It is economic policy that was dropped on its head as a baby. Oh, that's right. He's talking about uh, Kamala Harris's economic policy. And yet Wall Street seems to be willing to dump money on her. Why? And the answer is because Wall Street is always trying to get in bed with the person they think is most powerful. The thing to understand about yes. Wall Street is that one of the great failures of Wall Street and of big business in general, they are not capitalist by nature. They are profit seeking. They're capitalists when confronted with the consequences of capitalism. Whoa! Hold on there. That's communism or something. What? Cap capitalist businesses would never invest in what? What? There is a difference. Profit seeking means that you will find money wherever it lies. So if the best way to make a profit as a business is to get in bed with corrupt Democrats, you'll do it. You'll rig the system for your own benefit. If you can make capitalists have never done this ever. Don't look up the history of all capitalism in all of human history in every country, every time, all the time. Wow. Corporations, which are essentially just smaller, you know, nation states in terms of their desired power. Like if there is no nation state, the corporation will expand until it meets the function of the nation state. Right. That's anarcho capitalism. You get a bunch of warlords and one of them winds out on top and then eventually you have a state like you're telling me corporations would seek favor with those politically in power. That's crazy. Why? That's only been the default mode of behavior for all systems of power ever created. Make a profit. A capitalistic company is one that will not do those things. Oh, this is dumb, man. This is always, this is just the same as the, uh, this is corporatism, not capitalism thing, where people who, I mean, you can be pro-capitalism, but still be opposed to some elements of capitalism. That's fine. You can do, that's completely normal. Adam Smith, Basically, the founder of our modern understanding of, of liberal capitalist laissez-faire economics was still deeply critical of some elements of capitalism, said that we shouldn't do them, you know? Hey, he had some things to say about land and ownership and renting, by the way, in case you were curious. Um, Adam America? Yes, Adam America. Uh, the founder of capitalism, yes, as it's well known. But... Um, there's this weird, insistent, like, right-wing capitalist thing they do where they cannot critique capitalism at all. Because if they do, they open up the door to any critique of capitalism. Their general position is that the free hand, uh, you know, the, the laissez-faire free hand of the market, the invisible hand of the free market, uh, that it's perfect and immutable and it always makes the right decisions and that any market outcome is desirable because that's the glory of the capitalist market. So they don't like any criticism of the system. And if there is a criticism they want to offer, they have to pretend that they're not criticizing capitalism, that instead they're criticizing profit seeking. If you are a capitalist, you say, I'm not interested in getting in bed with the government. Uh, that's true. Because I know that whenever anyone gets in bed with the government, they end up getting screwed. That's the nature of the bargain. Yeah, that's, that's so true. Please do not look up the military industrial complex and the gajillions of dollars that they make every nanosecond directly getting in bed with the government and using their power as corporations to influence our policymaking. Don't, don't look at anything. Don't look at any evidence. And we don't want the government picking winners and losers, but that's not what a lot of Wall Street does. They do want the government picking winners and losers, as long as they're the winner. The term he's looking for is rent-seeking, he's so dumb. Yeah, but like, I mean, it's not as though he's talking to an audience that would be familiar with that term, because that term is used by people who critique capitalism. A lot of Wall Street is perfectly willing to get in bed with the government, so long as it benefits their firm at the expense of all the other firms, which is corporatism. It is yep, yeah, see, dude, see! Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing less capitalist than a business using underhanded tactics to get ahead of its competitors. That's corporatism, not capitalism. Ridiculous, honestly. Yeah. Would a capitalist do this? Describes capitalism. Um, worth noting, by the way, this rhetoric is often also quite fascist. Um, 
because fascists are fascists are selectively critical of capitalism as it pertains to like international investment like they really 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 don't like the fact that capitalists are shiftless and international and will invest in different countries and they don't really care about national origin which is usually the case the specific distinction here between capitalism and corporatism is kind of filling that role rather than critiquing capitalism you know uh, ben Shapiro was like, well, all of these big economic power centers, they're not really capitalists, which would be good. Instead, they're corrupt, oligarchical, corporatist, and internationalist. And that means that they're actually bad. Will he ever learn what shiftless actually means? Let this be the last time this comes up. Shiftless, characterized by laziness, indolence, and a lack of ambition. What word am I fishing for when I say shiftless? Because what I mean is untrustworthy. What what similar word am I am I aiming for? Shifty? That shifty is it is it just shifty? Uh, I don't like that word though. I'll come up with another unscrupulous. I'll come up with another synonym, okay? I'll work for another one is not capitalism. And then when that system inevitably falls on its face because the government is bad at picking winners and losers, when those bubbles always burst. Uh, when do you think the Raytheon bubble is going to burst? Like out of curiosity, you know, because getting in bed with the government is always a bad idea. Capitalism gets blamed. It's one of the perversities of the way that our system of government works under a mixed economy. Mixed economy meaning free market for some parts and government sponsored, subsidized, and run for other parts. All right, well, that was some fantastic economic analysis from the smartest man on a right-wing YouTube. Vance plane makes emergency landing after door malfunction mid-flight. You're kidding me. Wait, really? Emergency landing for J.D. Vance's plane in Milwaukee. A Boeing 737. Ooh. <sighs> Charter plane. Carrying J.D. Vans made an emergency landing at Milwaukee International Airport due to a possible issue with the aircraft. Yeah. A malfunction with the door seal. Trump Force 2. Trump Force... Is it Trump Force 1 or 2 that's the Epstein plane? Or was the Epstein plane only temporarily chartered? It was only temporarily chartered, right? I can't believe Boeing's trying to take down the uh, Republicans. Maybe... Maybe I was uh, a little bit harsh to them. As soon as the issue was resolved, the plane returned to its originally planned flight path back to Cincinnati. Well, another close call. What is that noise I hear? What are the cats up to? What do you, pardon me, what do you, oh, he's, he's, he's laying on a, on a folded towel of mine in a little, what is that room off to your left? Nice try, Pinbread, but that's actually off to my right. 